Uh, so, you know, I want to talk a little bit about, about Caden today. Um, you know, have you seen how much has he progressed uh, from the beginning of the season to now? It seems like he's really, you know, filling up the stat sheet. Yeah, he has. He's gotten uh, a ton better, a ton more comfortable in the defense. Uh, I think there's still plays for him to make. Uh, there's, there's still more potential to be tapped with him. Uh, so uh, I'm excited for him to just continue to, to get better each game. Um, he's got to snap out of it a little bit at times. Um, but he's been really productive, so I'm happy for that. Was he primarily a quarterback in high school? Was that his He played safety primary? as well. Okay. Uh, so he played both ways. Um, he's never really played linebacker, though. So it is, it's a new position for him. Uh, relatively new. He's had spring and fall, um, but he, he's grown well at the position. Has he, you know, met your expectations, surpassed them, you know, especially with little experience at that position? I'd say surpassed them, um, but since I've met him, or since I've worked with him and, and seen kind of his tools and what he has to offer, um, I think he's, he's starting to achieve what I thought he could do. You know, just based off of film and what I've seen in, in high school, he surpassed the expectations. But now that I'm, I'm working with him, I think he, he's got even a higher ceiling than I thought. I think Coach Petrino said he's, you know, he loves he loves football. He is, uh, you know, he's one of those high motor mm -hmm. high motor guys. Uh, you know, would you agree with that? And oh yeah, absolutely. He, he's a high motor. Um, and he definitely loves the game. He loves to learn, uh, which is a great thing. Uh, he's kind of like me in that aspect where you just want to get better every day. You want to learn. Uh, he's coming in and meet with me just about every day. Uh, last week, he asked me to kick him in the rear a little bit and get him to come every day. But for the most part, he's in my office every lunchtime. You know, I, I sit in my office and wait for him to come in there. And he gets in there and meets for about an hour every single day. So he, he's a, a passionate player. And I love that about him. Oh, the last two, uh, last two games, last two first halves, it seemed like the defense, uh, you know, was hold holding their own. Mm -hmm. uh, second half, uh, you know, last week was a lot of special team stuff. But um, have you seen from the linebacker position? Have you seen any, you know, from the first half to the second half, of the last two games, uh, uh, maybe lack of energy? Or, or what I, would I wouldn't you... say lack of energy. I'd say just we got to continue to focus throughout the game. We got to put four, four quarters together. And you know, last week I. I wouldn't even get close to putting on the special teams because there may be a blunder on, on one side of the ball or one third of the game of football, and still we got to get stops on defense. Now, if we get stops in the fourth quarter, we win the game. So I still put it on our group. Um, but I, I don't think it's a, a lack of energy. I just think we got to continue to focus and, and treat every play as the most important play all the way through the game. What did you see from uh, Ed Hall making his first start? I think he had eight tackles. So he did. What did you yeah, I was excited to, to get Ed in there. You know, it's a little bit tough for him having some of the guys that are in front of him. Uh, but he got an opportunity last week, and, and he took advantage of it. And he flew around and made plays. And I told him, I'm going to put him in this week. He's going to get his reps. He's going to get opportunities. And what's that, what that's going to do is, is give some of those guys a little bit more of a break, a little bit more of a spell at times, so I can get Caden off the field at times. I can get Mark off the field at times, get Brock off the field, and get those guys a rest. So Ed's going to be a good, you know, there's six man in basketball. He'll be our fourth man in our group this week. So. Okay. And what have you seen on tape from Appalachian State? What do they do really well? What are you guys going to have to focus they're on? They're a stretch football team. Uh, they they got a really good running back. He's one of the top 20 in the country uh, yardage-wise. So. Uh, we got to stop their running back. I think their quarterback's smart with the football. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, they, they throw the ball down the field. They got some good wide receivers. Uh, so we just got to stop the run, you know, uh, get penetration, and then get after the quarterback when it's time to throw. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, thanks.